to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Review. So today, I'm extremely happy to be bringing you guys my review of Crush by Rihanna. This perfume launched this year, 2016, and is Rihanna's eighth fragrance. Um, and is the first addition to the Riri line that we got last year, uh, about a year ago. So this is really cool because they're actually uh, like marketing it as the like second installment in the Riri namesake series. And what's really cool is, like, before I get too much farther into the box, it actually just says Riri on top of here, which I thought that was, like, super, super cool. So, um, the box looks like this, and this is actually a slipcover. So, I ordered mine from Macy's, and it came with this, like, slipcover on it with the pink on the back. Um, and it does have, like, the, um, bottle shape on the back, kind of like the box does. So, you pull the slipcover off, and the box looks like this, and it says Crush by Rihanna. And then down here, which is super hard to read because of this, like, texture to it, says Eau de Parfum Spray Vaporizer 3.4 ounce, 100 milliliters. And that texture does go all around the box on the back. And you've got, like, this, uh, almost like a flatter line that goes through it that shows the shape of the bottle. And then on top it says Riri by Rihanna. And then you've got the Crush logo there. So... Similar to the original box, except for this is like a gold chain, and it's actually textured, like, it's actually textured, um, and, like, the other box was black, and then it had the reread logo up here, so, very similar to the original box, except for we didn't get a slip cover with the original box, I don't know if there is slip covers for that original box, if there is, I would love to have one, just because I would love to have, like, the two ads right next to each other, but until that, the box is going to have to sit like this on my shelf just because I have OCD and I have issues. So, the bottle looks like this this time. And it says Crush by Rihanna on the front. And it's that same kind of um, shape that the original is. I've always thought of this like a perfume bottle or like a nail polish bottle where like you could take this out and let there be polish in it. Um, the chain on here is actually textured and I don't know if you can... Like, it is a natural texture. I was worried that it would be a sticker. Kind of like the wood grain was on the uh, Riri bottle. But it is actually a... Um, it's textured. So, um, it is that same kind of heavy bottle. They didn't really change anything. All the same quality. The only difference is, I believe, that the sprayer is yellow this time instead of it being pink. Um, so... You have, like, the, the fluid is gold, like, the last one was pink, so on and so forth. So, um, if I keep looking over here, it's because I have a monitor over here now with this new camera. I actually have, like, a monitor here, so when I put stuff close to the camera, it's easier to make sure things are in focus over there. So, anyway, notes for this one. Top notes are bergamot, juicy mandarin, and pi pink peppercorn. Middle notes are pink rose, ylang ylang, red berries, and base notes are creamy musk, cedar wood, and sexy patchouli. So... I'm very, I was very, very excited about this fragrance when it first, first, first came out. And, or first was announced. And this, in my opinion, is how a perfume launch should go. First, you got it announced almost two months ago. It got announced in June of 2000, or 2016. So, you like, we had two whole, almost two whole months of, like, preparing and knowing that it was coming. And then it launched. So... It is what it is. Um, this is currently available on Macy's.com if you guys wanted to know. The 100 milliliter is $60 and I believe they have, I'm not 100% sure if they have 1.7 ounce. I know they have a 1 ounce and I know that they had the rollerball. Um, we are supposed to be getting a, um, gift set with it soon as well. So, I will say that when I first sprayed this fragrance, I wasn't in love with it. Um... But that's just because I'm not a huge fan of the opening of this fragrance. I'm much more of a fan of as it starts to dry down. When you first spray it, you definitely get a little bit of that rose. The pink peppercorns are noticeable a little, and the kind of the spice from the patchouli. It has a very, not super spicy opening, but it does have a little bit of a kick and spice to that opening. As it starts to, like, develop that top, I'm getting that bergamot and that kind of citrusiness of it. I feel like the red berries definitely are coming out as well, but they do definitely come out more as it dries down. As it starts to dry down, you get a little bit more of that rose, but it does kind of dissipate and go away. You 
get that little bit of the ylang ylang in there. Um, and I, like I said, I got the red berries. I'm not, like, the mandarin's there. It does add kind of a juiciness to it. But I feel like it is kind of right there when you first spray it, and then it kind of goes away, and then it comes back. Um, as it starts to dry down more, though, you do get, um, it, that red berries and the mandarin kind of come together and create this intermixing, which is where I start to love the fragrance. Um, it just has this weird spiciness at the very, very beginning that I'm not a huge fan of just because I don't like spicy fragrances, but I do actually really like this fragrance. It's not my favorite Rihanna, um, that battles between Riri and Rogue Love because I love both of those, but I do like this more than I like, um, any of, like, the, her first set of series, so, um, and I do really like Nude, so this does beat out Nude, but it's not beating out Riri, only because I really like that boozy note that is in Riri. Um, I will say, as it starts to dry down more, you do get that musk and the sandalwood kind of coming together, and it definitely is a creamy sandalwood, because, in my opinion, it almost has, like, a little bit of a vanilla note to it, even though it's not technically listed as a note. I definitely do get a little bit of a vanilla creaminess toward the base of the fragrance. Um, this fragrance is very strong. It does have a really kind of, like, throwing, lasting power and, like, sillage. Like, I sprayed this on me when I picked it up this morning, and I was driving with my hand that I sprayed it on, and I could smell it, like, from my steering wheel. Um, so that was, I mean, about an arm's length, and I could definitely smell it. So, um... Lasting Power, I give this fragrance over 8 hours of Lasting Power. It does probably going to last a really, really, really long time just because of its strength, and I can just tell by the power of the fragrance it's going to last probably a really, really long time. Um, definitely kind of, I feel like this is a daytime signature time scent. If you were to kind of like balance the two, Riri would be more nighttime and Crush would be more daytime, even though they're not... Um, either, neither one of them is a nighttime or a daytime fragrance. I just feel like if you were to balance them in a way like that, that would be the way that they would work. Um, I feel like this is going to be a little bit more mature than, um, Crush was. And that's definitely because of that patchouli and the rose in there. Um, and that pink peppercorn. It's definitely giving a little bit more of a mature aspect. But it's not, like, super duper, like, white diamonds, shell number, shell number five mature. It is, like, still mature enough to work with her fans in the age that they are now. So, I would say this is a year-round fragrance. If you were to season it out, I would say it would be kind of summer and fall. Um, but with those floral notes, it does kind of give it a little bit of a spring aspect too. But it's not super-duper floral. It is a fruity floral, but it's more of a floral fruity than a fruity floral. Um, it is more floral than Riri is, and Riri wasn't even that floral. So, as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. There is my review of Crush by Rihanna. I hope you guys really like this fragrance, and I hope you guys like this review. If you did, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. It does really, really help me. Um, if you like this video, please hit that button down below and subscribe. Um, I always have new reviews coming, and sometimes they're a surprise on what I'm going to pull up out of my sleeve, so you guys will never know um, what I could drop on you at any point in time. So please hit that button down below and subscribe if you haven't already, because there will be more reviews coming relatively soon that you guys are not going to want to miss. So, as always, thanks so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, A the S Perfume, and Instagram, I'm on the Stars Perfume. Links are in the description below. As always, thanks so much for watching. Bye.